Welcome to our daily Forex market analysis, and this is for trading on October the 30th, 2020. Just a quick disclaimer here before we get started. This is for educational purposes only. Trading is a risky business, so please be careful with your money. As usual, we'll start off by taking a look at our calendar here. So um, in terms of our um, news coming up here, we do have CPI numbers from Japan. And um, on Friday here, we have, uh, we have a whole bunch of data. But in terms of important numbers here, the GDP numbers here for Canada will be important. Um, we do have the flash estimate for uh, CPI there out of Eurozone. The here, these numbers here, uh, Chicago PMI numbers, consumer sentiment numbers will be important uh, for the US as well. Um, but with the US, again, the focus will be on the upcoming elections. And in terms of the virus here, uh, we are seeing a lot of uh, uh, a lot of big numbers here in terms of the virus um, across the board in the U.S. We have uh, 9 million infections uh, from COVID. So that is concerning. So we'll keep an eye on how that progresses. But uh, all in all, um, ton of data. So watch out for it. And as we get into the election time here, we are likely to see more volatility as well right through election uh, a week even after the election uh, because there's going to be um, a big fight over the uh, counts. So uh, just bear that in mind. All right, so let's take a look at our charts now. We'll start off by taking a look at Euro dollar here. Um, the price went right into our, uh, well, right through our second target here. Oops, sorry, I'm looking at the wrong one here. Um, Euro dollar here. So went, um, uh, so sorry, broke through the support level here and now looking for price to come back down so drop further here. So nice bearish bias here. Uh, I will look for a bit of a pullback here into uh, 1.1700 potentially and then looking for a drop target will be into the base of this candle 1.1600 and only if it goes through that then we are looking for a further drop here so I just want to zoom out a bit um, so this is this here is an important support resistance level this is where price had bounced off previously so we'll have to see how price reacts into this support resistance level so keep that in mind and only if it goes through that then our, then we're looking for the uh, follow through and then it could come all the way down here uh, so for the time being a watch out for the support level at 1.1600 1 um, 0, 0, and then 1.1 five seven zero will be the next one down so bearish bias here for for euro dollar pound dollar here this one dropped as well um, as we can see here now there is a, a bounce off of the support level this is a strong support resistance level price has struggled with this level in the past so we'll have to be <laughs> sorry excuse me uh, we'll have to be mindful here uh, so in this case here, uh, in terms of the pullback, I would look at uh, pullback into this 1.2950 area um, and then a potential drop. So first target would be the support level here into 1.2870 and then 1.2800 next one here. So back into this support level here. So bearish bias here for pound dollar. Now with the pound though, there is that concern around Brexit. Uh, they did say that they are likely to reach an agreement on Brexit uh, or some sort of an agreement uh, by first week of November. So we are heading right into that. Uh, that's something to watch out for any positive comments. Uh, it's in regards to that um, can move the price higher. So that would be something to watch. So a bearish here, uh, sorry, bearish bias for pound dollar. Aussie dollar here, this one is looking bearish here. So we are right into the support level. Uh, 
last time price was here and we had a neutral candle, price had moved higher. So uh, be careful with this one here. If it doesn't go through, it can bounce back up and go back into this range that it has been trading in. Uh, for now though, it is looking bearish. So bias is bearish here. It, the concern will be the shape of the candle here. It's very similar to this candle and that's concerning. But once we see a break through that, then we're looking for next move to the downside here. So neutral to bearish bias here. Next target is 0 0.6920, 0 0.6820 uh, beyond that. So bearish bias, neutral to bearish bias for Aussie dollar. New Zealand dollar, this one is the same. Uh, bias is neutral to bearish here. We also have an indecision candle for New Zealand dollar. So prices into this previous support resistance level here. And we see that price has bounced off of that level. So at this point, I will look for a retest of the support level again. And if it holds, then we're looking for a move um, on the other side. So looking for once we see the break though then next target would be 0 0.6550 so bias here is neutral to bearish for new zealand dollar as well dollar cad here as we can see all of these commodity currencies um, have similar formations here again a neutral candle we did see price go up and then it has uh, it has bounced off of the support resistance level coming all the way from here now, if we were to zoom out here, we see that this is an important level here where we have seen price react several times before. So at this point, this is looking neutral. Now, if price holds, so we may see um, it do, we may see it turn around here. We, it, this one could drop. So if it holds below here, then we're looking for a drop here. Um, so bias here is uh, neutral here and next target would be 1.3250. So neutral to neutral bias for dollar cad. All right, taking a look at our commodities here. Um, this is a neutral to bearish at this point. We did see a nice drop, but then price bounced off of the support level. So the move down and the move up, both were inefficient moves here. So looking quite volatile, uh, it's looking quite volatile right now. So in this case, uh, if it holds below this 23.50, we could see another drop here. So bearish bias, neutral to bearish, I'd say. And then first target here is 22.50. Second target is 22.20. Gold as well, this is um, looking bearish at the moment. Next target here is 1848. And only if it gets through that, we are looking at 1818. Oil here, um, nice drop in oil. It's right into the support level we were looking at yesterday. And now, so bias is still bearish here. I will look for a bit of a pullback here. And then if it holds below the support resistance level, this is an important level. If it holds, then looking for a continuation to the downside here. So bearish bias in terms of our target here. First target is First target is 35, second target is 34.20. Copper here, copper is looking neutral at the moment here. We do see that price went into the support here. It hasn't been able to break through the support. Um, for bearish trend to continue, we need to see a bounce. Otherwise, we're looking for a price move back into the uh, range here. So neutral uh, bias for now for copper. Bitcoin here. Bitcoin going sideways at the moment. It's stuck in this range. It is holding above the support level at uh, or close to 13,000 here. So if it holds, um, so right now we may see a move into the highs. So I'm looking for a move towards 13,800, but then if it holds, we could see a drop. So for now, bias is a neutral to slightly bullish, just looking for a bit of a move higher.
S&P 500 uh, price has moved in both directions here. We have a doji. So this one does show rejection of the high. Um, however, it hasn't really committed yet. So right now, neutral to bearish bias looking for 3200 uh, level for S&P 500. NASDAQ here, we see that price bounced higher here. Now it did reject the previous level, previous support resistance level here, but it hasn't quite broken through the support yet. So at this point, we may see uh, this one getting uh, moving sideways, so neutral bias for NASDAQ here. Dow Jones here, this one is looking more bearish than NASDAQ, so we may see a bit of a pullback. So neutral to bearish bias here, target is 26,000 uh, for our Dow Jones. DAX here, um, today's candle close is completely neutral. It hasn't quite broken the support yet. So neutral bias here, if it doesn't um, go through the support, it can turn around. And many times we find that uh, Fridays can be a turnaround day. So we could see price move in the opposite direction. So be mindful of that. For now, this is looking neutral. And if it doesn't break the support level, I will look for a move back towards 11,760 here. Could see here this one as well looking quite neutral we could see a move higher here uh, so either we could see a move higher or this could just be neutral uh, so bias for the time being this is neutral if it doesn't break the support here we are likely to see a uh, move higher so something like this so neutral bias for the time being for FTSE and last but not least we have Nikkei here. Nikkei did pull back. It is into resistance here so what we need to watch out for would be how it reacts into this resistance 23,400. If it holds below we are looking for a drop but should it go through then we are basically back into that range again and price could go all the way into 23,800. So right now this is neutral to bullish. Uh, the big level we'll have to watch will be 23,400. Once it crosses that, we're basically looking for uh, a move higher. So neutral to uh, neutral bias or slightly bullish for Nikkei as well. So that's it for now. You guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you later. Bye for now.